Hi friends, thanks for joining. My name is Kristen. This is Kick It 55 Fitness and you are joining for 25 minutes of Yoga Sculpt. We have a focus on the core today. I do have a light set of weights. It's really for only one exercise. So you can skip the weights, you can grab some soup cans, heavier weights, whatever you'd like. We'll get started right away. But before we do, don't forget, subscribe to us and push on that notification button so that each time a new workout drops, you get notified. Okay, so we've got 25 minutes on the clock. Again, core focus. Let's start in a child's pose, stretching out. So bring those big toes to touch. Bring your sit bones on your heels. Walk your arms long. Just a nice way to center and get started for the work ahead. So reaching from the top of your crown, the top of your head, through your tailbone. Find that link through your spine. Send your arms long. Bring your forehead down to the ground. We'll take a big breath in here. Breathe in. And exhale out. Another nice deep breath. Centering yourself, coming completely to your mat in your space for these next 25 minutes. Exhale, let it go. Let's roll up to a tabletop. So stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We'll do a couple cat cows just to warm up our spine. So core work today, a lot of it is going to be done in plank. So we're also really strengthening the shoulders and using all of our body weight. So inhaling for cow as you sink your belly, lift the shoulders and your head and lift through the tail. Exhale for cat, round the back, drop your head and tail. We'll take two more here. Inhaling for cow, exhaling for cat. And come back to center. Let's build a little heat first. So just come back into your high plank and we'll start with some mountain climbers. Let's just do 30 seconds here of mountain climbers. Kind of get the heart rate going a little bit. Driving those knees right into the chest. 30 seconds has started, you keep going. Keep it up. In five seconds, we're gonna to come to a hovering table in four, three, two, and one. So your knees are hovering just an inch above the ground. Make sure that your shoulders are still right over your wrist, hips are right over your knees, and your neck is nice and long. Come back to the breath here. And then we'll start with a little bear twist. So take your right leg and cross it underneath your body, opening up through your left hand. So crossing, come through center, cross the up, opposite way, and then come center, cross, center, cross. Little bear twists using your core. Exhale through the twist, inhale through center. Keep going. Making sure that when you come back through for that hover, your knees are an inch above the ground. Eight, let's go for seven. Use that core to control this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to that hovering table and hold. Last hold here. You got it. Find the strength in your quads and your core. Last eight, seven, Six, in five, down dog, four, three, two, and one. Lift your hips up and back. Find your down dog, pedal out. Take a moment here to press into all your fingers and press back to take that emphasis off your wrists. Draw your belly in, soften your chest toward your thighs. Beautiful, inhale here. Lift your right leg high, find your three-legged dog. Keep your hips nice and squared. Inhale, on the exhale, draw that right knee to the right wrist. So pivot forward so your shoulders are right over your wrist. Now, tuck that knee to the left elbow and then back to the right and left. So gliding it back and forth, elbow to elbow, using the core to hold that bent knee up toward your chest. It's right and left. Exhale, 
exhale inhale through center as you sweep it back and forth let's go keeping that right oblique engage let's go for eight seven three-legged dog in six five four three two and one three-legged dog breathe in nice on the exhale this time bring that right knee toward the left elbow and then set that foot down off your mat on the edge press into the right hand open in your fallen triangle so your right leg is forward left arm is toward the sky and right here we start with some hip dips so you lower and lift lower and lift using the core lift lower lift exhale for the lift exhale for the lift let's go eight seven six we switch it up in five four three two and one press into that left foot and drag this right leg underneath you so bring that knee down find your one weight in your left hand come on to your right hand now lift your left leg and bring that weight up so that left leg is parallel and right here bring that left arm straight up inhale here and on the exhale bring that elbow to knee crunch it lift it crunch it lift it crunch and you can send it overhead if the weight is a little bit lighter exhale inhale exhale inhale now you'll feel this in your left oblique exhale inhale eight seven six five four three two one more set and one you can certainly do this without the weights keep going eight seven six five four three two and one beautiful pivot come to a forearm plank so bring those forearms down into a number 11 and make sure you stack those heels right over the toes bring those hips in line with your shoulders and hold here the more that your heels are over the toes the more you're working through your core let's hold for four for three in two we have spider crunches and one so we'll alternate knees to elbows so it's a tap and back tap and back exhale 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 using both obliques those side abs are firing up you're also working those shoulders nice control keep your neck in line with your spine let's go for eight seven six five four three two and one hold that forearm plank last hold here last four three two and one lower all the way down let's take a moment so bring the tops of your feet down press your forearms into the ground inhale slide the shoulder blades back and down as you isometrically drag your torso your heart between your arms feel that stretch through the low back through the shoulders and then exhale just let it go shake it out let's do one more of those inhale for sphinx pose breathe in drag as if you're dragging your body right between your arms beautiful exhale out now we're going to stay in this sphinx pose so make sure your shoulders are stacked right over the elbows press your hands down or you can even weave your fingers together and press your woven fingers down what i want you to do is we're going back into that forearm plank or that yeah forearm plank but this time the tops of our feet stay down we don't curl our toes under so press into the tops of your feet really focus on core 
and engagement through your hips. Inhale, and then lift on up. Hollowing out through the belly. Holding here, yogis. Again, make sure your neck is a nice long line with your spine. You'll also maybe feel this in your thighs. Holding here for eight, seven, six, five. Focus on that core. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Now this time, curl those toes under. Come back into that forearm plank and let's hip dip it right and left. So it's right and left, right and left, right here. Keep your control, right and left. Nice, keep going, right here. Focus on that core, let's go eight and left, seven, left, six, left, five, dip alternating right and left in four, you got this. Nice and controlled. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Come back to center. Pivot on that right arm. Come into a forearm plank. Lift that left arm high. And on the exhale, thread the needle. So you can have your hand behind your, actually, let's go here. Hand behind the ear. Lift those hips up. And then lift, lift. Just pulsing the hips up. Exhale, 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 exhale. Let's go eight, seven, in six. We come back to our forearms. Five, four. Keep your chest proud and open. Three, woo, two, and one. Pivot back and come all the way down. This time, bring your forehead down. Relax your arms, goal post them out, and just rock your hips side to side. Take a breath here. And then exhale out. And then press into the tops of your feet. Bring your hands right along your low ribs. Inhale, curl your shoulders back, blossom through your chest, find your cobra. And exhale, lower down. Let's take one more here. Inhale for Cobra. And exhale. Lower down, beautiful. Bring your hands right alongside your shoulders. Curl your toes under, rise into a high plank. And let's find our downward facing dog and pedal it out. Take a moment here. We're going to that other side. But right now we're just taking a stretch through our calves. Finding length from the tip of our head through our tailbone, hollowing out through the armpits. Beautiful. Breathe in here. And exhale out. So we'll go to that other side. Inhale, lift that left leg high. Find that three-legged dog. Nice. Breathe in. On the exhale, bring that left knee toward that left elbow. Shore up through the core and then slide that knee to the right and left right and left nice and controlled hold it here make sure shoulders are right over the wrist it's the cord that's holding up your shin right right and left exhale exhale right here keep going slow and controlled let's go eight seven six in five we have that three-legged dog four Three, nice and controlled. Two, woo, and one. Three-legged dog, lift that left leg high again. Breathe in. Exhale out, and this time that left knee comes toward the right elbow, and then kick that foot off the mat so the top of your foot's on the mat. Bring your left arm center, open up, fall in triangle. And right here we have our pulses. So lower the hips and lift, lower lift lower lift inhale exhale inhale exhale yes right here for eight seven 
six, five, and four. We tuck that left leg under. Three, two, and one. You can bring both hands down. Bring that left shin underneath you so it's parallel. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, parallel to the top of the mat. Your left arm is planted. Your right leg comes up. Grab that one weight in that right hand. Bring it straight up. And then you bring that elbow to the knee and send it long. It's crunch, long, crunch, long. Exhale, exhale. Right here. Nice. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're gonna do one more set. One, you can keep with the weight or lower it. Let's go, eight, seven, six, five, nice, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, let's pivot, come on down, and find that forearm plank, and hold. Again, heels directly over the toes, hips nice and low, neck in line with your spine, holding here. And let's hold it for eight, seven, six, in five, we have those hip dips, four, three, two, and one, let's dip it right, center, left, center, right, and left. You got it, and left. A lot of oblique action. We are gonna come onto our backs. We've got a few more minutes here. Keep going. Make sure you're pivoting on those toes and that your obliques are doing the work here. You can weave your fingers together, press into your forearms, let's go eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come center again, holding here, and then lower down. Beautiful. Make sure you bring those arms to a number 11, shoulders again right over the elbows. Press into the tops of the feet, and let's find a little sphinx pose. Inhale, slide the shoulder blades back. Gaze forward, keeping your neck long in line with your spine. Side shoulder blades back, open through the collarbones, and pretend you're dragging your body through. Inhale here. And then exhale, let it go. And one more time here, inhale. And exhale out. Now keep those tops of the feet flat. We're gonna go into that sphinx plank so it's a forearm plank our feet are top down you can weave your fingers together inhale here press into the tops of the feet and mindfully connect to your core and through your hips and lift and hold i also feel a lot of this through my quads but it's really that core that's holding everything up hold it here Continue to hold and breathe. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and one. Beautiful, lower down. Pivot your forearm, pivot into a side plank. Bring your right hand behind your ear. Right, so your right hip is up, left is closer to the mat, and we lift and lower. Lift, lift, and lift. Exhale, 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 keep going. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Right here, you got it. Let's go eight, seven, and six. We have those spider crunches. Five, four, three, two, and one, pivot back to that forearm plank, and right here, alternate same knee, same elbow, so it's tap, back, tap, back, exhale, 
exhale, exhale, exhale. Really be mindful to keep your plank nice and solid. You're not hinging forward and back, right? You're using your core to bring that elbow and knee close, driving that knee toward the elbow. Let's count it. Eight, right here. Seven, each count is both legs. Six, whew. five, you've got it. Four, three, last two, and one. Beautiful, lower all the way down. This time bring your forehead down, goal post the arms, rock it out through your hips. Bring the tops of your feet flat and breathe. Nice. And then come back to a place of center. Keep the tops of your feet flat. Engage your thighs. Bring your hands to your low ribs. Inhale. Find that cobra. And exhale out. We'll take that one more time, yogis. Inhale, ripple up for cobra, sliding the shoulder blades back. And exhale down. <sighs> nice. And then hands right by your shoulders, curl your toes under, rise through your high plank, find your down dog. And stretch it out. Take a moment to stretch right here. Pedaling out through the legs. Inhale and exhale, find length. Wrap those triceps in, slide the shoulder blades back. Let your head hang nice and heavy and long. <sighs> Plank work is no joke, friends, right? Okay, let's go right here. Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet right behind your wrist creases. Find a quick ragdoll. Reach for opposite elbows. This will be a nice counterpoint to all the plank work. Oh, finding that extension through the spine, finding some space in our low back, just weave left and right, making sure you bring your weight into the ball mounds of your feet, right? Lean it forward, nice. And then draw your hands down for a deeper forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let's root and rise one time. Inhale, roll all the way up, fingers come last. Find that Urdhva Hastasana, those pinkies are forward. Breathe in here. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold down. Now plant your hands, lift your heels nice and high and bring yourself into a little ball. Wrap your arms around your shins and find a stretch through your upper back. Breathe in here. And on the exhale, simply bring your hands behind you and lower yourself to your bum. We have a few minutes for some core work on our backs. So we'll start here in a semi-high boat. So I want you to lean back in that position between your sit bones and your tailbone. Find that sweet spot, right? And then ground your heels down and bring your hands behind your ears. And then we alternate elbow to knee. So it's lift and lift. Exhale and twist. Exhale, exhale. Right here, as if you're marching it out. Exhale, but lean it back. Keep your chest proud. Try not to roll it in and cave in. It's very hard, but keep going. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Let's go. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it all the way down. Find your reverse table. So the secret here is making sure your shins stay parallel with the ceiling. You don't want them rolling in. So perfect 90 degree bend through the legs. Hands behind the ears. Lift up and we pulse. It's exhale, 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 exhale. Pretend you could put a tray of drinks on your shins, lifting and lowering, chin toward the ceiling. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Let's go right here. 
eight, seven, six, five, four. Stay with me. Three, two. This turns into bicycles in one. So opposite elbow, opposite knee, sending the other leg long right here. Pick up the pace. Let's go. Run it out. Left and right. You got it. I'm going to take us here for 15 more seconds. Keep going. One more exercise in 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Roll your knees all the way in as if it's so we're doing a reverse crunch. You can bring your hands underneath your hips so that your low back stays firm on the ground, but you reverse crunch, send it long, straddle together. Reverse crunch, long, straddle together. Reverse, long, straddle. And when I say long, I just want your legs hovering over the ground right here. Long, straddle together. Also getting those inner thighs long together. Reverse, long, out, in, reverse long out in right here eight let's go seven six five in four we scissor kick three in two keep those legs long right here in one keep them long out and hover, out and cross, out and cross. Alternate which one's on top. Hover and cross, hover and cross. Let's go. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll those legs in. Woo! Wrap your arms around your shins. Baby, rock your slow, your slow, your low back into the mat. Woo! And then yogi, simply tee your arms out, bend your knees and drop them toward the left side of the room. Find a little supine twist here. You can even take that top leg a little longer, tabling through the shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale out. Come back through center. Find a little rock, a little neutrality with both knees in. And then again, that reverse table through the legs, that 90 degree bend, tee the arms out, send those knees and shins, just drop them down toward the right side of the room. Table through the arms. You could take that top leg, stretch it longer. Do what feels good. You could use a block under your knees, whatever feels right here. Breathe in. And exhale out. Come back to center. Wrap your arms around your knees. Take a big breath in here. Find a last happy baby, any last expression that works for you, and make your way into Shavasana. Take up space on your mat. A final big breath in. And then we sink it low into Shavasana. And this is where I'll leave you, yogis, because I always hope that you have time to take two to five minutes in your Shavasana. And with that, I will sign out. Thank you so much. Namaste. Stay tuned for our next video. And also don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. See you on your mat. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on push notifications so you know when our next workout posts.